covers the headlines. Imoinu Cable TV Network inaugurated at Fuller Tall Chingyalekai. Checking erosion at Singapore Part 5 is underway. Renowned film critic R.K. Bidur passes away. Former Asian Games gold medalist Ngangom Dinku Singh is no more. Mass awareness camp to arrest COVID crisis held in the Hyanglong constituency of Manipur. 12 people killed in Myanmar military plane crash. Court rejects Sushil Kumar's plea for special food and supplements in jail. Usefulness of Toning Khok Hotunia Cordeta in protecting COVID-19. Discussion on development issues held at Konjung Nakai, Manipuri Guest House. Abdul Hamid, a distinguished freedom fighter of Bangladesh, passes away. Hello everyone, you are watching Imoinu Live. This is Anjali Wahingwam giving you the Bulletin of the Week. Before going to the news and details, Imoinu TV makes an appeal to all the viewers to observe carefully the SOPs given by administration to contain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. Let masks be used at all social gatherings. Let social distancing of six feet be maintained between two persons. Let hands be washed or sanitized frequently. Let all persons above the age of 18 years be vaccinated. The office of the Imoinu Cable TV Network has formally inaugurated at Fuller Toll Chingyalikai on Friday, June 11, 2021 at 11.40 a.m. by Longjam Baba Sana Singh, Managing Director of the Ima Imoinu Private Limited. Inaugurating the office, Baba Sana Singh appealed to the subscribers to extend their full cooperation in the smooth functioning of the cable services in this locality. He further expressed that the role of media in our society is of great importance. The two media advisors of the Imoinu Cable TV Network team, Dr. T. H. Baba Chandra Singh and Khaidem Kanta, editor in chief, Dr. P. Rajbihari Singh, and other members of the team also participated in the office inaugural ceremony. All of them prayed to Ima Imoinu for healthy functioning of the cable service with sound mentality in the near future. It is worth mentionable here that this cable network service is run under the aegis of the Imoinu Group of Ima Imoinu Private Limited. It is a matter of great concern when we take into account the prevailing conditions of mass erosion at Singapore Part 5 under the Lakhipur subdivision of Kathar district. It has nowadays created much panic and restless among the local people. A large part of the area has already been swallowed away by erosion and hundreds of dwelling houses have been forced to shift to safer places. A good number of families are also waiting for immediate shifting to elsewhere. Many have been rendered homeless. The road at Singerbone Part 5 under PMGSY has also been affected by the current waves of erosion. On the other hand, it is the lifeline of the surrounding villages of this locality. Now the protective works have been started under the Chief Minister's special package program for which the government has sanctioned Rs 8 crore 49 lakh. Here's a report.
Prominent film critic of Manipur, Rajkumar Bidur, awardee of Swarna Kamal, the National Award for Best Film Critic, succumbed to post-COVID complication on June 9, 2021. He was 80 years of age. R.K. Bidur was the founder president of the Manipur Film Journalist Critics Association. Manipur State Film Development Society described R.K. Bidur as an encyclopedia of Manipuri cinema. He has authored a few books. He was associated with many literary organizations. Boxing legend Ngangom Dinku Singh, who had brought fame for the country by winning gold medal in 1998 Bangkok Asian Games, passed away on Thursday. June 10, 2021. He was 42 years old. He was suffering from liver cancer for a long time. He was tested positive for COVID-19 last year but later recovered. Dinku rose to prominence by winning the 1997 King's Cup in Bangkok. He was conferred the Arjuna Award in 1998 and Padma Shri in 2013. President Ramnath Kovin, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh and many others condole the demise of the late boxer. As a result of the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic disease spread in India and abroad, many people in Manipur have been severely affected, leading to loss of many lives. The state government has taken stringent measures to control this miserable pandemic situation by issuing regular protocols and SOPs to the general people. The facilities of providing oxygen concentrators with ambulance have been given to the district hospitals of the state. But since there is lack of proper availability of such health facilities in the face of ever-increasing number of COVID patients, the local MLAs in Manipur are now fully engaged in the fight against COVID outbreak. Thus, the Hyanglam AC MLA Dr. Radhesham Yunam has donated two ambulances and other medical equipments in the COVID care center opened in Langmidong Higher Secondary School. He has also donated Rs 1 lakh to the Kakching DC in aid of the opening of the second COVID care center at JNB Umathel. Thus, the youth members of COVID Task Force of Lamjao have rendered best services to find out the COVID positive patients, help the patients by supplying food and other items. Here it is very much encouraging that the SDPO of Kakching, Yumnam Joyraj Singh and General Secretary of COVID Task Force of Lamjao, CH Jiten Singh have successfully led the team to control the situation. Here is a report from our Kakching Lamjao correspondent Chandam Khongme. District Police ka loyna na COVID Task Force Lamjao ka makhoi initiative tagi ekhoi Lamjao area sida vaccine ka thong na bagi damakta me with the Tolay Narang Handi Kapo, the Hibi Kibuza Mina, Anir Tona Lamzaugi, Singare Langwidunga, Adu Chanigi Makat, the Tolakpa, Watna, Manga Leva, Adu Population Sika Tolay, but you got Kena with the Gi, my aunt Singaka Mina and Kresto. I'm a boy of Shu, I'm a boy of Shu. Covid Lena the Gi, not talk no money, Pugina, Akan Balan King Kaya, Lena Casilo in a song syllabus. Supam non pum they travel, a big percent Tokna. Injury will mute Kayagi. Sentok Lambi Tat Kravada, Covid Pukiram Gadara, Hive you hung Madilabi. Aduga, Laina Asigi Mayonsu, Tudokna like Tokiba Uda Gum Tauri. Kadai dono, Ahova, Ayuba, Amalay, the Vara Hivegi, sing never power. Imoinuti Vigi the Mak, 
Lamjong Makale Kai Manipur Diki Chandan Kong. Twelve people were killed when a Myanmar military plane carrying a senior monk and several donors to a religious event crashed in central region of the country, Ajanta spokesman said on Thursday, June 10, 2021. The plane, which was carrying six crew and eight passengers, crashed shortly before it was due to land in the city of Pine Olin, spokesman Zo Minton and said in a statement blaming bad weather. A Delhi court on Wednesday, June 9, dismissed a plea by champion wrestler and Olympic medalist Sushil Kumar, who is currently in judicial custody for the murder of fellow wrestler Sagar Dhankar, seeking special food and supplements while in jail. The court said special food and supplements only appear to the wishes of the accused and not a necessity. The court said Kumar has been provided with a balanced and healthy diet as per the entitlement of under-trial prisoners as stipulated in the Delhi Prison's Rules 2018. He also said as per Kumar's medical report, he is not suffering from any disease that requires food supplements or a special diet. Kumar's advocate argued that he, being a renowned wrestler, wanted to continue his wrestling career and hence required supplements and special food. The court said that Kumar wishes to pursue his future career in wrestling. He has neither disclosed the details of any upcoming competition for which he has qualified nor has he mentioned the name of any competition in which he is participating in the near future. From an experiment undertaken at a lab, it is known that Toninkhok Hotunia Cordeta leaves used as spice in some dishes by the Manipuris help to protect from the invasion of COVID-19, a source has mentioned it. It further mentioned that the juice extracted from its leaves and roots itself can destroy the enzymes that helps production of multiple COVID viruses. In the last 10 years, it is frequently talked about that the said leaves can heal sufferings from breathing problem. In the efforts to protect from this pandemic, the said leaves help very much, it is mentioned. The story of usefulness of juice extracted from the leaves as well as from the roots in healing this ailment in China was also published in the journal. Its extraction was used in the preparation of medicine of this ailment. In the experiment on mouse, Hutunia cordeta is used in preparing medicine for the disease. Recently, a team of scientists led by Dr. Ngasepam Iboyaima Singh, a chief scientist in Indian Institute of Food Technology, is conducting a research work on the usefulness of Hotunia cordeta in healing the disease. The chief scientist expresses that within a few months, the result will be ascertained. Excessive intake of the leaves or juice causes urinary problem. A meeting of the Manipuri social elites of Kashar was held yesterday, June 12 at 9 a.m. in the premises of Manipuri Guest House at Fullatol Konjenglekai. Shri Harongbong Kundalal Singh presided over the meeting. Among those social elites present in the meeting included retired ACS officers Arambam Nandababu Singh and Kangavam Shanti Kumar Singh, retired professor of GC College Dr. K. N. Chan, Athauba Ningxing Loop President R. K. Sanahal Singh, retired PhD SDO Oinam Biramani Singh, bank manager S. Subankar Singh, social activists R. K. Gopal Sana Singh and Khaidem Gorahari. Imoinu TV Media Advisor Khaidem Kanta, Athauba Ningxing Loop General Secretary Yumnam Nadia Chan Singh, General Secretary of the AMSU Central Committee Kabrabam Bikramjit Singh, Chief Editor of Imoinu TV Network Dr. P. Rajbihari Singh, etc. All of them have pleaded for smooth sailing of the development issues of the community in a proper way. The next round of discussion will be held shortly after assessing the improvement of the present COVID-19 pandemic crisis. Abdul Hamid, a resident of Adampur Bazar, Bangladesh, who took part in the Bangladesh Liberation War, passed away on June 8, 2021 at Care Hospital, Dhaka. At the time of his death, he was 70 years old. He was given guard of honor by a police team at his burial ceremony. He was a distinguished freedom fighter who belonged to Manipuri Muslim community of Bangladesh. Before we wrap up, let us take a look at the headlines once again. Imoinu Cable TV Network inaugurated at Fuller Tall Chinya Lekai. Checking erosion at Singapore Part 5 is underway. Renowned film critic R.K. Bidur passes away. Former Asian Games gold medalist Ngangam Dinku Singh is no more. Mass awareness camp to arrest COVID crisis held in the Yanglung constituency of Manipur.
12 people killed in Myanmar military plane crash. Court rejects Sushil Kumar's plea for special food and supplements in jail. Usefulness of toning hook Hotunia Cordeta in protecting COVID-19. Discussion on development issues held at Konjung Nakai, Manipuri Guest House. Abdul Hamid, a distinguished freedom fighter of Bangladesh, Kansas That's the end of the news. Thank you for watching Imoinu Live. Stay safe and don't forget to wear your mask.